Hi, my name is Rahul. I'm a banker by profession. I just wanted to ask you one thing. Like ever since I have the sense of religion, we have heard that God is one, and we are hearing it again as the God is one. But just now we had two people going as per you call Shahada or what? What you call is there is no God except Allah. And continuing what did you just tell Mr. Rajesh that whatever religion which came into existence before Islam, this Islam corrected these some ways out of this and some way out of that. That there were some mistakes in the religions before Islam, and Islam corrected the things. And the messenger, the last messenger, what you're just talking about, he corrected them all. And now you have to follow the things again. So are you denying the fact that there was no God except Allah before Islam? Like there is no Lord Shiva, there was no Lord Ganesha as per Hinduism or as per something. So are you totally denying the fact according to Islam? So as you say, there is no God except Allah. That was asked a very good question. He said that when I say and I give the shahada that there's no God but Allah and Prophet Muhammad is a messenger, do you mean to say that Islam came and corrected? So before Islam there was no God, and that's what I mean to say, brother. There's a slight misunderstanding. Islam is not a new religion. Islam did not come into existence 1400 years back, and Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him is not the founder of Islam. Islam is there since time immemorial. It is there since man set foot on the earth, and Prophet Muhammad is not. The founder of the religion of Islam, he is the last and final messenger. So before Hinduism came into existence, Islam was there, and Allah clearly says in the Quran, in Surah Al Imran, chapter three, verse number nineteen, "In the Dina, in the Lail Islam, the only religion acceptable in the sight of Allah is Islam." And the message is repeated in Surah Al Imran, chapter three, verse thirty-five, that if anyone takes any other religion besides Islam, it will never be accepted of him. He'll be amongst the loser. Meaning, there is only one religion, Islam. The first prophet was Prophet Adam, peace be upon him. Many other prophets came. Our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said there were 124,000 messengers sent on the face of the earth. By name, we know only 25 in the Quran: Adam, Abraham, Noah, Moses, Jesus, Muhammad, peace be upon them all. Now, by name, I know 25 only in the Quran. You may tell me that don't you believe in Ram? Don't you believe in Krishna? I say I don't know. Were they prophets of God? I say I don't know. Maybe they were, maybe they were not. Maybe they were, maybe they were not. Because they are not mentioned in the Quran, I don't know. Maybe they were, maybe they were not. But all the messengers that came before the last and final messenger, Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him, they were sent only for those people at that time. Their message was time bound. But because Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him is the last and final messenger, his message was not meant only for the Muslims or the Arabs. It is meant for the whole of humanity. That's why Quran says in Surah Ambiya, chapter number 21, verse number 107, "Wama arsalnaka illa rahmatul alamin." That we have sent thee not, but as a mercy to all the creatures, as a mercy to all the worlds, as a mercy to all the human beings. Similarly, all the scriptures that came before, my name only four are mentioned in the Quran: Torah, Zabur, Injil, and the Quran. But Quran says in Surah Rod, chapter number thirteen, verse number thirty-eight, the Kulli Ajlin Kitab. In every age, I've been sent a revelation. There were many books sent. I don't know my name. You ask me, can you call Veda the word of God? Maybe, maybe not. But even if it's the word of God, all the scriptures that came before the Quran, they were meant only for those people in that time. Now, because there was time bound, Almighty God did not think it fit to preserve it. Now, because Quran is the last and final revelation. Quran, when it was revealed about 1400 years back, it was not sent only for the Muslims or the Arabs. It was sent for the whole of humanity. Quran says in Surah Ibrahim, chapter 14, verse number one; in Surah Ibrahim, chapter 14, verse 52; in Surah Baqarah, chapter two, verse number 85; in Surah Zumur, chapter 39, verse 41, that the Quran was sent for the whole of humanity. It was not sent only for the Muslims and the Arabs. So today, no, but I think we are not talking about the humanity. We are talking about the Islam. That Islam is totally denying the fact that there is no God except Allah. Correct. What, what I am trying to say outright here is, like, just you just told me that it is written in Quran. That may not be written in Quran, or it is not written in Quran that there were some ways, there were some scriptures written or not. So it means there was a mistake by the writers or uh, by the scholars or Correct. scriptures of the Hinduism, Buddhism, Jainism that they did not mention that there is some God existing. Very good question. What I am telling you, if you heard my answer correctly, you will understand. I said all the scriptures that came before, because they were not meant to be followed till eternity, God did not think it fit to preserve it. If you heard my answer, there were many scriptures. By name, I know only four. But because they are not supposed to be followed today, why should I do research on it? By this, you are meaning that there was no Ramayan, there was no Mahabharat. Brother, you have not no, heard me. No, I'm, I'm asking you something. I'm telling you, there were many scriptures. No, but like now also, it has been proved geographically that there was uh, like uh, proofs getting down that there was Ramayan, there was that uh, pulls, setus, and what you have heard also. Okay, about. you want to know about so, Ramayan? No, no, it has been Ramayan. proved. I, I mean to say. I will tell you the proof. I now. mean to say. Like, Fine. Now you're asking me a question. I'm giving you information now. 
you are talking about Ramayana and Mahabharata. I don't know what your knowledge is about Ramayana and Mahabharata. I'm asked, how many types of Ramayana are there? No, I really don't know about you don't that. Know. I just know the basic version of the Ramayana. You know, I'll we tell have you. Heard of it and we have seen. I will tell you, brother. According to Ramanuja, who's a great scholar of Ramayana, he says there are more than 300 different types of Ramayana. Okay. 300 different types. Which one do you follow? No, I mean the basic, the base, basic characteristics, the basic. Quran, the Quran, Quran, only one. They may be sects, they may call themselves Shia, Sunni, Anafi, so Shafi. Only Quran is one. So are you openly or behind the stage or behind the curtain trying to deny the fact that hmm. there is no God except Allah? Not denying the fact, telling the fact that there was no God besides Allah, there is no God besides Allah, there will not be a God besides Allah. <laughs> I think there is a final answer to me I have taken from you. Thank you very much. But, but coming to your question, coming to your question. You fail to realize that Islam is not a new religion. Islam no, is no, there. I have my due uh, respect to the Quran, to the religion, Islam Correct. religion. There is no doubt about the Quran. There is no doubt about the uh, Holy Messenger and everything else. What I'm my only tell concern you. before the start, at the end of the session, the only concern was, are we denying the fact that there is no God except Allah? So you are totally saying that there is uh, Hindus have no lords. No, no. no. Even Hinduism says the same thing, brother. That's what I'm saying. Even Hinduism says, na tasya patima asti. Of that God, there is no image. We but, cannot challenge the sentiments of the millions not of challenge. Hindus. By challenging the sentiment, if you're going against the instruction of your creator, you are not obeying him. You cannot say, I'm sentimental, therefore I am to kill anyone. I'm sentimental, I am to insult anyone. No, but instructor, you are insulting God. But instructor never told us also this thing that you cannot... Uh, uh, pray me by creating my idol or something it like is that. This is, a, this is the internal sentiment of the. Uh, Not uh, this internal. Follower. It is mentioned in Yajur Ved, chapter number 32, verse number 3. What? Don't make an image of Almighty God and you're making. So you're going against the commandment of your scripture, not my scripture, your but, scripture. But what I'm trying to tell you that if you call yourself a Hindu, which Hindu? A Hindu who believes in Vedas. A Hindu who believes in Mahabharat. You're talking about scientific thing. If I talk about scientific thing, do you know Mahabharat? Mahabharat was a story told by the grandfather of Arjun. Initially, Mahabharat contained only 8,000 shlokas. Later on, it contained 24,000 shlokas. Today, it contains more than 100,000. Where did it come from? Moment the story was told, generation down generation, everyone kept on adding their family members as heroes. So today's scholars say the original Mahabharat, which was a story told of the feud between two families, Pandavas and Kauravas, was 8,000 verses. Today it's 100,000. Where did the 92,000 come from? No, I think we swayed away from what we were discussing. Not swayed away. So therefore, this Mahabharata has got interpolation. Not me. The Hindu scholars say that. The Hindu scholars, if you read, they say it's an interpolation. Not Dr. Zakir. I read their books, but I'm enlightening you. Your pandit may not be telling you. And what I'm telling you, you're talking Mahabharata. You know Kurukshetra. Do you know where Kurukshetra is today? Yeah. Do you know how big it is? Yeah. How big? Your Mahabharata tells that there are Akshohoni. When he started from morning, Till night he was keeping on riding the chariot. There were 18 Akshoni. Each Akshoni contains about 100,000 elephants and few hundred thousand horses. You know the Kurukshetra is so small. Where can it fit? Suppose I tell you in this hall, one million people came for my lecture. You will tell Dr. Zakinak is a fool. I think that Brother. Kurukshetra has Brother. been geographically uh, in the name of Kurukshetra now. At that time the whole area was called as Kurukshetra. So Brother, I have you read Mahabharat? Uh, not read, but I have heard of it. So I have this is the problem. You have heard, I have read. I'm giving you reference. I'm a person who's a medical doctor. I'm telling you, brother, you have diabetes, don't touch sugar. But I've heard somewhere having sugar is good for diabetes. I said, brother. No, I was I'm giving you answer for what just you, you said, that one million horses cannot be bounded in this small arena or whatever. I said... Not horses. Not horses. Audience, audience. Horses don't come to listen to my lecture. I'm sorry, everybody. You are calling the audience horses. No, no, no. My answer was to you like that time. The Kurukshetra was not defined as an area. It was defined. It is, it is defined in the Mahabharat. The area is defined, the boundaries are given. Today, if you, if you find out, not down, even in the scriptures. The scripture says what it is. I mean, script. Yeah, geographical location. Scripture says what was Lanka. 50 miles away from my home. home, home from home. your home, but do you know your scripture? Your scripture is miles away from your mind. Yes, I think we are swaying off what you were discussing. Not swaying, I'm telling you scientifically, if you do research, you come to know there is so much of concoction. There's so much of interpolation. I'm not here to criticize the scripture. Now, because you're talking about scientific proof and logic, I'm coming to that. No, that's it, what I'm the more you speak about science... Mr. Singh, my only concern was, like, if you also believe that before Islam, there were scriptures, there, were God, Islam, there were God mentioned in it, there was everything mentioned in it, then the, why are we denying it today that there is no God except brother, Allah? My question to you is, Islam is there still time memorial. So where is the question of before Islam? No. Before Islam, there were no human being. When human being came, Islam was there. So where is the question of saying before Islam? So your, so your knowledge of Islam is less. 
You may think Islam came into existence 1400 years back. You know Hinduism, Hindu scriptures, the scholars say, majority say, Hindu scriptures came into existence 4000 years back. Islam did not come 4000 years back. Islam is a since time immemorial. We don't know how many years, millions and millions of years. So for you to say before Islam, before also there was no God but Allah, Today also there is no God but Allah. Even after millions and billions of years afterwards, there will be no God but Allah. This it is just a, a matter of belief among all the religions. Bel so as I all the religions, including religion. including Hinduism, this is the belief. Including Christianity, this is the belief. Including Islam, this is the belief. Including Hinduism, this is the belief that God is one. I never say that there is no God except Lord Shiva or Lord Ram. That was my concern. Thank you very much. Lord Shiva is avatar. If you say messenger, I've got no problem. But the moment you say God, Lord Shiva is a different God, Krishna is a different God, Ram is a different God. That means you're going against your scriptures saying that ikkam ividityam, God is only one without a second. So what I realize, your knowledge, because being limited, you are telling me as a medical doctor, if I'm telling you, you have diabetes, there's problem in your pancreas, etc. have less sugar. No, 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 I've read, you know, sugar is good for energy, calories. Are bhai, it is poison for you. No, no, no. I say, what can I do? Now, I think the debate on this can go on for the night long, so I won't take much of your time. Thank you very much for your so kind answer. And I pray to Allah to guide you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Welcome back, friends. I hope you enjoyed the video till the last minute. The brother asked question that uh, you said that the Holy Quran is the last book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and it will be remained till the doomsday. And the Holy Quran said that all the previous books are not acceptable. Now you must have to accept only Islam if you feel proud, if you want success in the life after that. So the brother is asking question that what will be the life of those people who have uh, who have died before Islam are those people who follow the religion which were uh, their time before the Islam. What will be to that people? Actually, the brother is trying to ask uh, this question. So let me clear that the answer is that whenever the Islam came, so it finish, it finish all the religion which were before exist. Like uh, it finished the religion of Christianity. It finished the religion of Judaism. It finished the religion of the rest of the world. Those so who say that this is the last prophet. No, the last prophet of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And it's clearly mentioned in the Holy Quran that in the Dina and the Allah is Islam. The only acceptable religion in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is only Islam. The brother is trying to ask another question that you said that the Holy Quran uh, has been finished all the religion which was done before the Islam so it means that you said that there is not Allah but there is no God but only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala it come after Islam what about before Islam so Dr. Sahib gave him a very good answer that Islam doesn't come or not or uh, the Islam doesn't come uh, 1400 years ago but Islam came when the human being came to this world which means that the Islam is the starting point of the starting point of Islam is uh, here in the world is when the Adam and Eve came to this world. So Islam came. Oh, and Islam always said that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is one and our Holy Prophet Hazrat Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the Lord Prophet. If you look at all the messenger which come before the Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam like Adam, Noah, uh, Musa, Isa, Harun, so many prophets, all the religion have the same topic, the same sentence that La ilaha illallah. There is no God but Allah, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And actually when the man is asking different kind of question, arguing with Dr. Saab, so Dr. Saab tell him that you are a Hindu, you did not know about your own religion, so how about you talk about the Islam, that Islam said that there is no God but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So the doctors are trying to convince him, but this brother is uh, making arguing discussion, a lot of discussion from him. But it was all in the bush, all in the air. He's throwing, he's just throwing bullets in the air. Doesn't know about Islam, religion, and the Islam sentences. So the result of the video is that if you look at the religion from the start of the world till that day all the religion have same topic and that topic is only la ilaha illallah what are the difference between the previous religion and this religion are about the things like we have offer only five prayers a day we only offer five prayers a day but according to the musa alayhi salam his companion or his follower offer 50 prayers a day 
and uh, I think uh, we Muslim have allowed to do prayer any part of the world but in previous uh, religions the only acceptable the only acceptable place for the salah for the praying is only masjid so there are so many things which are changed by the religion but the main thing the main theme the main purpose the main thing of the religion it Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says la ilaha illallah it was not changed it was same from the start from the middle till now and I will be continue till the doomsday that there is no God but only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala I hope you understand the video if you like the video subscribe the channel and share it with your friends